trying to get a farm advantage. And so far, it's it's kind of business as usual, and they are the ones who have to try and make something happen. Two men, I'm offended, but it is Taz, a big dino. Lanaya jumps onto him, gets punished by the Eternal Guard. He still has the Destiny's Welcome too. He might just use it now, but he doesn't even need it against Lanaya. He just stomps him to the ground. First Blood K's even forced to flicker out, and what a menace! The dino and the Angela! A shield. This kind of skirmish, in theory, it should be Dewa. Unless, of course, they don't have enough damage to deal with Taz. He's alone right now, though. No, oh, that's just welcome to cancel out the Eternal Guard. Knock up high, jumps in with the Raven oh. Spider. That was a good knock up as well from Cry with the Eternal Guard. Taz looking to go for the Retribution. Lanaya as well. Taz outclassing Lanaya every step of the way. And even Pi gets out. Dixon unable to chase him down. No one dies from Alter Ego. There are no trades for Dewa. Alter Ego just drive by, take this. Somewhat ability based due to the nature of the Roger using abilities, but look at that. Eternal Guard onto Dreon, Nino to get a whole lot of damage. Also getting pulled back, he doesn't have the Purify, but he has the Blazing Duet. Pops, he didn't get the Brave Smite prop. And Taz now, in the midst of it all, getting a mobilized Pi. Dealing so much oh. damage with the Bravest Fighter and the big chomp down. A good stun from Pi to stop Lanaya and his movement in case. Also falls right after getting spat back to the wall. Kills for Dewa United so far. It's the playstyle, right? The fact that they were counting on having a hard guard of their own, but it's just not allowed to be given. Now again, 50-50. The tone is welcome. Nino can tread him down. And so, oh my god, he does. Lanaya is gone. And just like that, it's a free Lord over the Alter Ego. Oh. Nino wants to go for more, though. Jumps him with the Blazing. No, not even the Blazing. But he just guns him down with the Battle Mirror image. Like her parent from Dreon, though. 6-0. 6-0, they're looking for another one here. Pi goes in. And that's the Dino. Making the chomp, spitting him back out to the Eternal Guard, to the guns of Nino too. And Kright with the Eternal Guard slash takes him out. Still even trying to maintain like his, his stacks technically by doing this. But again, if you're Nino, where exactly is the danger, right? Rian and the rest of them are gonna be uh, stuck using the spells for something else. Uh-oh, I'm offended, dodged away from by the Battle Mirror Image. Bring him to the back as well, over under the turret. Dixon now diving into the midst of it all, but he has the Vengeance. What? Also with the Lycan Pops, Nino again with a Brave Smite! Brock with a Blazing Duet went out to the Battle Mirror Image and he placed beforehand, Rex flickering forward on the Angela, trying to get the last hit. An interesting flicker, but an entertaining one. All day, all night, dude. The macro is back. The macro that we didn't see yesterday, but now look at even Pi oh. going in. Eternal Guard onto Kaze and Dixon forcing a vengeance for the man who can withstand the damage from Nino. And he just walks in now with the help of Wreck with the hard guard as well. And the flask of the Oasis doing work. Kaze walking down Nino back with a Battle Mirror image. Wreck tying him up, looking for the final kill. Flickering forward. <laughs> Watt versus Wreck. Who's going to win it? It's Nino who takes it. No, it's right. <laughs> Zero, Alter Ego, and the Lord as well. A signature pick, and that's what you get. All across the board, Rack 208 so far. Gonna be able to take down this turret in the mid lane. And this is the Alter Ego. We want it. The chomp down, the spit out into the Eternal Garden to Nino's big guns. With the Blazing Nuet, Drian can only be offended now. Kays dove on in the fountain, forced to stay there, 11 and 0. Get wrecked! Alter Ego with a 2 to 0.